everyone, welcome back to the channel and this is going to be my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them review. By the way, this is going to be full of spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, I would not suggest watching this. So I'm just going to start off to say that this was a pretty great movie, but it's not my favorite of course because it can't steal Harry Potter's fame because that's always going to probably be my favorite movie of all time, no matter what movie they come out with. This movie takes place like 70 years before Harry Potter happened, so it's the prequel from Harry Potter. There were some times from Harry Potter, but not too many that you wouldn't understand it if you haven't watched Harry Potter before, but you've watched Fantastic Beasts. I think if I've never seen Harry Potter, I'd still love it like either way because it was a pretty great movie, it had great actors and it had lots of action and I like action so that's good. <laughs> so my three top favorite characters in this movie was, these aren't in any order by the way, the Niffler of course because he was the beast that got the most screen time. I was hoping that the other beast would get more screen time, like the same amount, but they gave the Niffler like a lot more screen time, so that's why lots of people will probably end up falling in love with this character. And then second, probably Jacob the Baker. He's a non-match as they say, but he's actually a muggle as they would say in Harry Potter. I just loved his character and his line. They brought the movie kind of to life. You just have to watch it to find out. <laughs> if you have seen it, then you know what I'm talking about, about how his character is just like, probably gonna be a lot of people's favorites or like up there as one of the top titles. And then, of course, I'm gonna put in as my third is probably New Scamander. I don't know, just something about him, I love it. I think it has something to do with like, how he cares for the creatures because of that loving aspect of him, but then he's also just a good character, you know? When you got those good characters and got those bad characters, he's just one of those good characters. But I really liked the relationship Newt had with the Beast. I thought that was really a great feature he had to his character. That's probably why I like him so much. I love the actor too, and his acting is so good. But I really liked the title scene though of the movie because it goes from like Harry Potter music with the Warner Brothers symbol to like Fantastic Beasts music and it zooms in on the letters like it did for Harry Potter and I just loved that aspect because then it's like oh my gosh the magic is back. <laughs> At the beginning there were like a lot of like Harry Potter spells and like wizardly stuff that we already knew from the Harry Potter books so it was like exciting. One thing I did not like about Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was that they didn't keep like Credence as like a big oh, oh my gosh moment. Like I was hoping that there would be like a really big oh my gosh moment for like revealing like a bad character but they kind of just let us know that he was going to be the bad guy because it wasn't that secretive and I was hoping that it would be more secretive. But there was a big <gasps> in the movie, Graves. He's actually Grindelwald. I can't say his name, I'm sorry. Gr well, Gradley Grindelwald. <laughs> I couldn't say it when I was like reading the books anyways, so I still can't say it. Yeah, when he revealed that it was Johnny Depp too, I was like, double, oh my gosh. But I'm kind of confused whether Grindelwald was Graves the whole time during the whole movie, or whether he like killed off Graves and then he took his identity during the movie. I'm not really sure about that whole thing. I don't know, it's just confusing to me, it might not be to you. If it isn't, comment below what happened there because I'm really confused about this. I'm not sure if it maybe happened before the movie and he probably killed Graves and took his identity as Graves to go undercover. I'm not really sure. But he had to be there for a long time because they all knew who Graves was. Now obviously he was like an aura. So he had to be there for like quite a while. But yeah, when Graves was actually Grindelwald, I was like, what? <laughs> and I was surprised that Johnny Depp was Grindelwald. I thought he would be more like, 
I don't know, a different character. He doesn't seem like a Grindelwald to me, but hopefully he'll be a good one for the next movies to come if he's in those. I expect that he will be though because this movie kind of set up for the other movies too. The character Grindelwald, I don't really know much about him. I am going to tell you guys something, okay? I read some of the books, but I haven't read the sixth one and both of the Deathly Hallows. And I really should probably read those, but I'm not a big reader. It will probably take me about five years. I'm not even joking. Five years to read those three books. But I'm working on it, don't worry. But yeah, so I didn't know much about his character. I had to look that up, but now I like fully understand who he is. And now I get why it's like a... <gasps> I think they had like the right amount of Harry Potter tie-ins. They didn't have too many, but then they didn't have too little. My dad, he didn't really like the movie that much because he said the music was off, it was slower at the action parts, which I didn't notice if it was. But if you guys didn't notice something, then let me know. And then he was also hoping there was more Harry Potter tie-ins, but I thought there was enough because it's not Harry Potter. It's Fantastic Bees, so I wasn't expecting that many Harry Potter tie-ins. I really like the old-timey feeling it had to it, because it was like old-timey magical feeling. It was like really nice. It was like a feeling you get like on Christmas Day, where you're like so excited and it's like calming at the same time, if you know what I mean. That's what it felt like watching the movie. And whoever designed their costumes is like a really good designer, because I really like their costumes too. And lots of people were upset that Johnny Depp be was Grindelwald, and they were all like, oh, he's gonna ruin the movie like he does for all these other movies. And I'm over here like, oh my gosh, he's Grindelwald. And then also, lots of people were like, oh my gosh, five movies? You're just gonna have this trail on and be like, ugh. And I'm like, um, oh my gosh, five freaking movies? What? I'm so excited for them to come out, and I'm just like, Looking out over here because overall I have really high expectations for this movie and it didn't quite meet the expectations but I have a feeling in the later movies it probably will. I'm not even sure where this is going to go on from now. I hope in the right direction and it's not going to go downhill from here but I'm hoping it's really going to be good for the sequel. I think Albus Dumbledore is going to be in the other ones. They're looking for an actor for him and I'm hoping they'll get a really good one and not ruin his character. If they do, then I'm going to be really disappointed in them. This movie was a really, really good movie. And if you haven't seen it, go watch. Also, I didn't like how they had Jacob go out in the rain. That was erasing every muggle's memory. I didn't like that aspect. Because I really wanted him to keep his memories. Like, why couldn't they just disobey the council? And, I don't know, I was just getting so mad because I really wanted him to keep his memories. But by the end of the movie, he remembered. So I was like, good. If they were going to end it with him just in the bakery, not knowing all that stuff that happened, I was going to be really mad because he's like one of my favorite characters. And they should just let him from the start keep his memories. But... When she went over to kiss him with the umbrella, I thought that was going to block out the rain enough that he was actually going to remember secretly or something like that, but that didn't happen, so I was depressed. <laughs> so I went on Thursday night at 6.30, so I was one of the first people in the whole entire country, and I was so excited. It was the early showing, and it was funny. I was like all decked out in Harry Potter gear, and everyone else was like just wearing like jeans and all this noble stuff. I was over here like with a wand, <laughs> my sleep pants that say Harry Potter. If you guys want to check out that, then you can watch my vlog that I'm going to post. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them review. I know it was kind of like crazy, but I was just so excited to do this that it was like, uh, I just gotta get everything out there. <laughs> like I had to take breaths in between each saying because I was going crazy. <sighs> See, like, I was, I don't know, I'm just like, so excited! It was like a really good movie and I'm hoping that they'll keep it up. <laughs> yeah, but my dad didn't really like it, so there could be mixed feelings about this movie. I really liked it, but it's up to you whether you like it or not. So thank you guys for watching. Love you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below if you like
liked the movie if you watched it already. Bye!